guidelines for um, re for farmer registration. Number one, an application must be filed with the Ministry of Agriculture. Um, secondly, you must show proof of authorized access to the land. That must be provided, and that includes a copy of the deed of the land. Or if you do not own the land, you must have a permission, a letter, a permission letter from the landowner, you know, with signature and has to be authorized by a justice of the peace or a notary public, right? Um, let me just go through all of them and then I'll come back to look at the, the Shambhavi today. Um, there's thirdly, only one application of farm will be accepted. So if a husband and a wife or, or father and son is farming on a, a parcel of land, that farm, they can only have make one application and only one issued card, one, one ID card will be issued. Fourthly, the farm must be actively maintained and producing, right? Because we see a lot of uh, inactive um, farmers and, uh, you know, farms just laying, laying idle and we do not want to get involved in registering these, um, these persons. The number five, the ministry reserves the right to reject an application. Sixthly, the card must be surrendered to the Ministry of Agriculture if ownership of the farm is transferred. Number seven, a farmer's license can be revoked if he or she is found guilty of stealing from another farmer or receiving stolen produce. And last but not least, the ID card expires every two years and renewal will be based on a recommendation from the extension officer in the, the area, right? So these are the guidelines that we use for registering farmers.